Hi again, everybody. It's time for your news break from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Today is Thursday, May 24th, 2012. The National Council declares the Friday before Memorial Day, May 25th, 2012, is Don't Fry Day to encourage sun safety awareness. Protect your skin today and every day to help reduce rising rates of skin cancer from overexposure to the ultraviolet rays of the sun. The National Council on Skin Cancer Prevention has designated the Friday before Memorial Day as Don't Fry Day to encourage sun safety awareness and to remind everyone to protect their skin while enjoying the outdoors. Because no single step can fully protect you and your family from overexposure to UV radiation, follow as many of the safety tips in today's edition of the paper of Montgomery County as you can. When we come back, a firefighter is going to be remembered today, and a bank has invested much in historic Darlington's downtown. You're watching Newsbreak from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's. All backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. And we're back. Joe Mitten will be remembered in a special ceremony at the Crawfordsville Fire Department on Water Street today at 1 p.m. Mitten passed away after an extended illness. His number will be retired, a proclamation will be read by the mayor, and a special presentation will be made to his family, said Assistant Chief Jim Fulwider. When you walk into the New Fountain Trust Banking Center in Darlington, you might think you're walking into a 1940s movie set, a historic building that was unoccupied for decades and had been allowed to run down, was purchased by the bank, and upwards of $1 million was invested in the renovation, said Douglas Weisheit, business development officer. A new safe was brought to Darlington and a portion of the building wall was removed so the safe could be installed. Here's what uh, Mr. Weisheit had to tell us. Here. Right here in Darlington, the Darlington Banking Center, uh, when the bank was bought by the Fountain Trust Company a few years ago, a lot of local folks were concerned that, you know, we weren't going to be here a long time. It's big banks usually go in to buy little ones, and we're just a community bank, and uh, we started studying about five years ago how to make the bank a more community asset and resource, and through that, the community told us they wanted to drive up, and they wanted an ATM, and we put an ATM in the old bank, and then... Uh, more recently, with the renovation here, the construction of the new bank, obviously you have a drive-up ATM. That's one thing they want. We did have a walk-up, and we now have a drive-up to the bank as well. So Excellent. Uh, we're pretty excited. They wanted additional parking in town, and they wanted uh, uh, an area for additional parking downtown for special events, especially festivals, and we're right behind the army here, which the town owns as well. So th th this is an enhancement to the whole community, we believe. The classic architectural theme is carried from the new accounts area with its wrought iron divider between customer and employee to the lobby with its fireplace, wood shelving, and its overstuffed leather chair. The only hint of the 21st century is the high-definition TV that will soon carry grain reports and other programming, said teller Judy Helgers. A conference room features the same theme as the lobby with wooden chairs and table, in the basement is a break room complete with kitchenette. The entire building is handicapped accessible. Wheelchair customers can press a button at the door off the drive through and speak over the intercom with an employee who will then come to the door and let them in. 
Now a look at Weatherby's three degree guarantee. Weatherby says the high today will be 88 under cloudy skies. Weatherby gives you his three degree guarantee. If he's wrong by more than three degrees, email him at weatherby at the paper 24-7.com and you might win a prize. Now let's turn over to sports found on page A5 today. North Montgomery girls tennis team season ended too early for the Chargers liking, but one of its members plays on. Abby Williams advanced to the June 2nd regional at Kokomo by winning the sectional championship in the number one singles play. She beat Allison Paston of Attica 6-1, 6-1 on Tuesday to advance to Wednesday's championship match. The defense that North Montgomery displayed during its 8-1 sectional opener win over North Putnam was solid, to say the least. So solid, it inspired the Chargers offense early into scoring three runs in the bottom of the first. In the top half of the inning, starting pitcher Sean Verhey allowed the first two runners on base, but North Putnam's Brody Perrine was tagged out at home plate trying to steal it after Kyler Batten stole second. Coy Flynn then hit a line drive that the Chargers turned into a double play. Our offense really fed off that, Chargers coach Matt Voorhees said. The guys were kind of pumped up going up to the plate, and I had to pull the strings back just to calm them and to say, hey guys, you have to keep your composure, and they did. One swing of the bat is all it took to drastically change Crawfordsville's upset bid of Lebanon last night. A three-run home run by Lebanon senior Danielle Bruner in the sixth inning propelled the Tigers to a 3-1 to -one victory over the Athenians in the softball sectional being played at the Athenian Complex. This one just plain hurt. The Athenians had done everything right to win the game. They received great pitching from senior Adrienne Barton, also, the Athenian defense played without a miscue. Crawfordsville outslugged the Tigers 6-5, but could never put a string of hits together. All season long, Southmont's softball team has made a living on dramatic comebacks. In last night's sectional matchup with Sagamore Athletic Conference rival Western Boone, Southmont just could not generate enough offense to overcome the Stars. Western Boone got all the runs it needed in the third inning when it when its nine batters when it sent nine batters to the plate and scored five runs on just three hits against Mountie sophomore ace Mackenzie Jordan. The Stars also benefited from two walks and a Mountie error in the inning. Jordan, who pitched over 90 pitches in Tuesday's sectional win over North Putnam, just looked as if she ran out of gas in the third inning. It was the only inning the sophomore would give up any runs. Southmont coach Kurt Brown said the Mounties' downfall was not pitching, but rather his team's inability to generate offense. And that's a look at your news, weather, and sports from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. You have an outstanding day, won't you?